Okay, guys, I'm back, and yeah, sorry about this lighting. I know it's not optimum, but today I'm gonna be like showing you MMA stuff and tactics and all that stuff, you know. I mean, first of all, um, I'm sorry if I cough and I sniffle or you know, my voice. I have a really bad cold. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay, first off, why I do, why I actually got into MMA at first was just, you know, it's great cardio for me. That being said, let's get into stances, okay? So, your normal, like, orthodox stance, like this, left foot in front, right foot in back, like this, that way you can't really get at your face. Um, south paw, complete hops to that, right foot in front, left foot in back, and you're going like this, okay? You can switch stances, I don't care, you just have to get fast, so that they, you know, can't catch you in the act, because when you switch to dances like that, you uh, are open to more of an attack there. Yeah, okay. And, um, first I'm going to, like, tell you about this clinch thing that I know. Uh, when you clinch, they really have no defense over to punching like this. They really have, like, no defense over their faces. So... You keep punching them with one hand and keep punching them with the other because A, unless they get out, there's no defense against it, and B, that's a really easy way to then soften them up so that later you can go to your ground game and like get a, a submission or a ground and pound, whatever. It's just a really great, you know, it's also a great rest, but it's, an, it's a great tactic for if you're fighting an opponent that's bigger or stronger than you. Very good, very good tactic right there. Um, next one is the rear naked choke. I specialize in this one a lot. Okay, what you wanna do, like you're, you're let's say you're already back sitting and you are around there. You wanna have this hand around the neck like this, then have like, you know, X much spot and all that shit, you know. Then slide your hand like this over to the back so that they can't really move the you know head like this is what it looks like and then just squeeze as hard as you can until the lights go out okay now submission to you know defense you know keep your head moving uh you know all that stuff but if you're like in a chokehold try and breathe very slowly very deeply that gets more air circulating and you won't go out as long and you'll have more time to actually, you know, get out of it and get them. And my one of my favorite is what I'm gonna talk about now. Gown pound. Already on the ground, they're facing you. Um they could go like this, but that would like put their uh, arms at risk of getting damaged. You just like, you know, like you're you like you're sitting on a purse, a uh, body pillar or something and just go pounding to work, you know, like, as hard as you can punch them until their lights go out, okay? Um, <laughs> next is the arm bar. You basically just take their arm, put your hands and the legs around it, and then, like, go out really hard, go tap out, you know. That's what you're hoping for, at least. They may not. Um, next, here's a, a tactic. I use, but I don't, you know, use it. I don't think a lot of other people use it. Um, my tactic is not to go with strong, big punches, you know. My tactic is to just, like, quick strikes. Quick strikes. Like lightning. You know, like, you know, Muhammad Ali. I forget to saying right now. Oh, foot like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You want to sting really hard. You know, but you want to be fast. So don't really pull back. That will A, give them a chance to see what you're doing. And B, you know, don't leave you open to board of attack on this side. So just quick strikes. Like that, okay? Um, next is the, um, you know, next thing I'm gonna talk about, uh, let me think here. I have to think of what it's called. Um, Ah, uh, yes. Um, there's combinations, different combinations you can use. You know, like I was using there. But, 
you know, the same combinations that you can, you know, use all the time. And, um, there's this one. I forget how it goes, but, you know, he, um, throws an elbow like this. So that it covers this hand, going like this, back here. To get a, you know, stronger punch at them. I forget to use that, but they use it a lot of them. They use it like a signature move in there. Okay. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I have for you guys right now. Oh, wait. We got elbows. You don't want to just, you know, like, hit him with your actual elbow. You want to, like, <coughs> sorry. You want to, um, use this part of your elbow. Well, you know, this part of your arm over them. That way, if they block this part, this part of the elbow is still going to come and hit them. So, if they can, you know, can't miss situational. Unless you, like, completely miss them, like, over the top or something. And that brings me to my next point. I completely forgot that I, you know, wanted to talk about this. But, going in and out, okay? You don't really want to have fast footwork, but going in and out is really just for punches. And, like, keep low. Keep low as you can, keep as low as you can, while still being able to see their asses, you know. Keep low, boom, boom. Keep low. And you can like dodge your punches as you can see. <clears throat> and so inside or out, you know. Or you can just duck. You know. But uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.